and that's the pattern that we've often seen from Ireland. They need to secure this. It's one of the areas that the French weren't happy with at Murrayfield, the restart, and that one is one Keep it up, by keep it up. the Irish. I picked up a little bit of agricultural language on referee Nigel Owen's microphone there, and um, apologies if you did. Are we stop? Let's move it. Let's stop. Control. It's a tough game. Please. Just beginning to get the upper hand in those close quarter exchanges, though. This is O'Driscoll, chips ahead, gathered in by Heymans. Very early days, but inevitably your mind begins to drift back to what happened here two years ago when the French looked done and dusted. Ireland decided that they weren't. 43 3 to 43 31 in the last 20 minutes. The ball was loose. LSL didn't control it. O'Driscoll dived on it. And Ireland can come away with Leamy. O'Gara. Jackman. Does lots of good work in the loose. Hayes providing himself as well. O'Gara with the little chip over. Out of the ball. And Carney shepherds it into touch. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Philip. No, no, no! Okay. Taken. Ooh, no. Tried to take it quickly. You Nigel Owens wasn't happy. Well, you're you right, all of a sudden, Ireland ahead. just going through a good patch. They seem to have rattled this French type five, leading from that penalty try. They're starting to get a little bit of an upper hand now. Now they need to make the most of this opportunity. Time, out. Time spent down here needs to bring points. Well, before this line out, and we can see the problems that Ireland have had, they've had 12 of them and they've lost five. And uh, there's the change. Rory Best, the Ulster hooker, coming on to win his 19th cap. Bernard Jackman looks like he's injured his right arm. Two weeks between now and the next game against Scotland in Dublin. And for the first time since last night and the early hours of Saturday morning, uh, a smile on the faces of the travelling Irishman. That one was taken in the line out well. Ireland score here. We might have to revise our thinking. And they're driving towards the line. Gather yourself and go. And they're over the line. Did they get the ball down? Those in the corner, Irishmen in the corner think they have, and there's the answer. And David Wallace comes up with it. And for the second time in two years, the unlikeliest of Irish fight backs is underway, you know. Yeah, well, that's a try. The ball didn't touch the ground there. There's no double movement. He's got that down on the line. And Ireland seemed to have found a little bit of a way through this French side, and it's up front and in the tight exchanges. They'll take a lot of confidence from that. They've had precious little loose change out of the midfield. But the direct approach through the tight five, where we thought might be a weakness, has proven to be a bit of a strength for Ireland today. But David Wallace always makes the hard yards. It only required a, a yard okay. and a half on that occasion. I may award the try. Thank you. Two Welshmen collude. Nigel Owens and Hugh Watkins, the television match official, and they decide that David Wallace had scored the try. They seem to be enthusiastic. Yet to see signs of it on the bench of the management. But this is a big conversion. This conversion to pull Ireland to within six points. And we've still got over a quarter of the match to go. Oh, oh, it's an absolute shocker from O'Gara. Just when he needed it.